36. Super rare, 1936. You can see, look at the exhaust, it's brand new. It's a brand Out of Ohio. It's a 36, Jerry, very, very rare. Jesus. Yeah. Not super rare, they made, they made 1600, but this is an E, this is not an EL. And I think on the E's, they only made 400. Yeah, but the, he, uh, this is the insane over knuckleheads, which this is yes. not, yeah. but he's particularly fixated on the 36. Yeah. If he was driving by, he'd get an accident. Yeah. Yeah. So, so would I. <laughs> you know, he'd get, yeah, he Those pickers in Iowa, yeah. He tried to work his way in and see what it was on my bikes. He had that great young Oh, really? Really? Somebody must have told him, and I said, listen, I want to see this stuff. I'm not selling it. Right, right. I'm just going to turn it to torture. Because I'm not going to sell it. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not one of the high clubs like that, for sure. Love how that gas is just painted on there. You can yeah. see the deal. Take care, hand painted so this was the first year of this style tank which is a which is a harley icon that's, oh, what, no, that's yeah. what rusty was saying that this bike yeah. the lineage of modern bikes goes back to this bike pretty much the dna in a 2020 today that will drive by roots back to here not the 35 to the 36 so it's a recirculating oil pump like the 34 is a total loss it doesn't bring the it doesn't bring the oil from the sump up to the head, so you got to dump it. There's a plunger and stuff. I was sure it's art primitive, right? But this is the first of a lot of firsts. This is the first of uh, first of a dash, a dash, a da first of a split tank, two tanks. Uh, the big thing was the oil, but it's the first double overhead cam. The other right. flatheads, they're horizontally opposed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just, so it's so it's really the same as a 2020. Yeah. It's just a, but this is the ultimate Art Deco. Uh, this is like the, the these, and this is the, the thirties are the ultimate Art Deco. Even the Flatheads have Art Deco paint, but the Sherwood Green and Silver, in my opinion, is the ultimate Art Deco color. Even more than the Vermilion Blue and the Cream. Really? Well, mine is obviously patinaed. Yeah. But uh, I just, I just love this color. You know, I just think it's so wicked, wicked beautiful. I think the the the, the spokes. The spokes make yeah, this stain, whole thing catch. just pop yeah, with the... Cadmium. These are cadmiums, are stainless. And they're correct. <laughs> That's what, they're yeah, correct. the spokes yeah, kind of, correct. they pop uh, ridiculous. So you know how you can really tell when it's, when it's all old stock? You see it in the fittings. Like, like say, look at the electrical connections. You know, look at these electrical connections. You know. Right. That it's 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 the look at the, the plug the, the plug little connection. plug here. This top yeah, one here has wound look the, around. Look at the rubber. Look at look at the the, the, the clutch uh, shifter arm. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. The rubber. Although the petcock, like the uh, the petcock is is the a brass little bit brass, is a little yeah. bit uh, gassy, yeah. but it's uh but it's still it's still unreal. Yeah. You know. You know. <laughs> Petcock's a thousand bucks. Twelve hundred, fifteen hundred. You know. Gas cap is three thousand. Everything's nuts. <laughs> I'm glad he covered the seat though, because Arthur had it covered the whole time. We picked up yeah, a good cover. Yeah. Arthur, Arthur said, e thousand. "Easy peasy, quick run out there, 66." Mark, it's not that big. It's, not that big. <laughs> it's one bad. It's one 19-hour day to go from Denver to Indianapolis. That's yeah, most man. of the country, and the rest is to Cali from Denver is 13 hours, and then from Indianapolis, Indianapolis here is 10. So it's one bad day, and then and then two easy peasy, 12-hour. Yeah. Is Brian, is Brian in his office? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him. Beautiful, beautiful bike.
These are the connections that he was talking about to make the bike. Yeah. Make the mill that it's new, everything's new old stock. The bike is unbelievable. Built by a prominent guy in uh, South Dakota. Owned by Rusty Mitchell. From uh, Temecula area. Oh, yeah. Beautiful bike. Beautiful bike. Cool. Cool video. Happy new owner. Thank you. I agree. It's a nice